If you ask people about their work, employment, job, why they work, you might get um, an answer like maybe because of a financial need or maybe because from that position they have, they draw some kind of esteem or honor. Uh, maybe because they get some kind of satisfaction of having to get a job well done. Maybe they want to make their environment, their world, a better place. And these are all good reasons. Um, but is that all? Uh, in my favorite TV series called The Chosen, Christ is speaking with a group of children and one of them asks him about what he does. Let's hear how Jesus answers that question and what we can learn from. Because I have a much larger job than just being a craftsman or a teacher. You are a teacher too? I will be soon. What other job? Everyone has a much larger job than just their trade. And you are more than just students. You are at school to show love to one another and to take God's word and to share it. And at home, to honor your father and mother. And most important, from the law of Moses, to love who? The Lord, your God, with all your heart. Very good, Joshua the Brave. So, I will be doing my work in many places. Christ said to the children that he has a much larger job while he was a craftsman or a teacher, but there's a higher calling. And he said that everyone has this much larger job than just their trade. And he said, it's to show love to people around you. It's to share God's word with people. And maybe your workplace does not allow you to proselytize. You cannot preach at work. But what they cannot do is they cannot prevent you from showing a loving, giving attitude uh, towards the workplace, people. They can see something in you. You're not there fighting for how much money you make or what position you hold in the company. And for us to have such attitude, we need to fine tune our attitude to line up with the scripture. In Proverbs um, chapter 23 and verse 4, the scripture says, labor not to be rich. Don't let wealth be the goal in your life. And the scripture in other places warns us from covetousness. The scripture encourages us to be content with what we have because God is the one who uh, provides for our needs. The Apostle Paul warns Timothy in 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 9 um, that the people that make life goal to be wealthy that they will fall in a trap. In 1 Chronicles chapter 29 and verse 12 the scripture says that both riches and honor come from God. So it's not by the hard work. Yes, you need to work hard, but remember that Christ told his disciples that the harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. And he called his followers to be witnesses for him. And if I have the time, I would go and study the character of Daniel in the book of Daniel and see how he handled himself in, in the workplace or maybe Joseph um, in, in Genesis and see how he handled um, working in a very difficult environment and even unfair employer uh, if you want to call it this way. Remember that they were the fragrance of Christ. They were the um, unwritten word of God that people can see in their lives. I encourage you to go back and study those two characters in the Bible.